Yeah, and velocity has slowed, and partly because the amount of money that's been pushed into the economy in the last three months is absolutely unprecedented. So the rate of growth of M2, which is a standard measure of the US money supply, in the last three months is more than 100% at an annualized rate, which is four times faster than it's ever been before. So that gives you an idea of how quickly the economy has had to uh, absorb such a gigantic waterfall of money. Uh, velocity had to drop. There was no way, no way at all. It, it could keep moving around the economy at, at, at such a, at a normal pace and such large size. So what's happened instead is that it's flooded into the equity market. And I, I have no doubt that the single biggest driver of the stock market uh, has been the surge in liquidity. So the Fed doesn't need to provide any, any more liquidity. Uh, what it needs to do is ensure that markets continue to function, as they put it, in a, in a smooth manner. And that means they need to keep a very close eye on yields. And you were talking earlier about yields rising. Uh, I don't think they want to see yields rise a great deal further. I don't think they're ready yet to announce formal caps, but I think that there's a very good chance that they'll be coming. I think they want to concentrate now instead, uh, rather than just those brute force you know, balance sheet expansion, which will continue probably at a, at a slower rate. But they'll be operating their, their facility, the Main Street lending facility, to get money into the, into the real economy funded by the Treasury, seeded by the Treasury. Uh, and again, as I said, they'll want to keep the pressure on Congress. It's, it, you know, this really is, is a, a very much a joint effort. Uh, the Fed is monetizing the government debt, which I think in these circumstances is a good thing. But the government needs, astonishingly enough, to, to, to generate more debt. They haven't done enough yet because the scale of the crisis is still, I think, greater than the $2.7 trillion response. And I think the $1.5 trillion that Steve was talking about as being the, the median expectation is about right. So the House has already passed a $3 trillion bill. Uh, the Senate is saying they don't want to do anything. So split the difference, you get one and a half. And my guess is that that will be where we end up, but probably not till sometime maybe late July. And that's, that's quite a long time for people to be wondering whether there'll be any more support coming. I think the Fed will remain very clearly on the accommodative side of things for the foreseeable future.